Good morning, West Hills. Today is Friday, May 9th. I'm Hayden. And I'm Brayden. And students who have 15 or more tardies will not be able to participate in the end of the year activities like assemblies, memory book signings, and the ninth graders may not be able to ride a school bus to Lagoon. Get to class on time. You may have noticed the cat's squares in your planner. If you have completed 20 of the 24 squares, be sure to turn in your pages into the Counseling Center by Monday, May 12th. Students who have completed 20 squares will be invited to a celebration that includes breakfast, cer uh, certificates, Dad, and have a minute, fun. We're out of sleep. Um, for our ninth graders, this award looks great on a college application. If you are in eight in eighth or ninth grade this year and you want to get ahead on credits for graduation this summer through a class like PE, come pick up a registration packet in the counseling center. The deadline for registration is June 2nd, so make sure you get the registration packet turned in, turned back into the counseling center before then. Do you have what it takes to be a winner in WHMS Cookie Wars? We will be providing frosting, sugar cookie mix, and sprinkles. You provide the creativity. Join us Monday, May 12th at 3 p.m. Pick up a permission slip in the counseling center and turn it in as soon as possible uh, as space is limited. And now an announcement from the administrator. Good morning, West Hills. It's great to be here today. Uh, it's a lovely Friday. Uh, just a couple things is backpacks. Don't be surprised if you're in the hallway with your backpack to have it taken away and taken down the office until the end of the day. Secondly, I uh, just want to make a quick announcement to the seventh graders. A lunch, guys. It's been a little crazy. People up on Rot Wild, running around, leaving trash all over. Guess what today is? Today you'll get to sit in your seats until the end of the day. So be prepared to sit and visit with your friends and not be up and running around, not moving around. So sorry about that, guys, but you got to make some better decisions. Yesterday was pretty rough. So again, sit next to your friends, but be ready to just be there for a while. Um, Finally, just one other thing, I can't leave without saying something about respect. Uh, respect for property. Uh, if you know that something is not yours, don't touch it. It's somebody else's, right? And if you, you do borrow somebody's equipment, please give it back in the same condition or better condition than it was when you first got it. Uh, we've had a few things happen in the last little while that, that show that there was a lack of respect there with some of those things. So just be mindful of that. And again, my challenge to you always is just remember we're all human beings. We're all going through stuff. And so just remember, you never know when your smile, your pat on the back, your congratulations, rather than a cut down or a put down or, or something like that, will help a person to make it through the day and, and have a successful day and be happy. So just be respectful. Remember, we're all people. We need each other a lot. Have a great day. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. Okay, breakfast uh, for today is a breakfast, I mean, lunch for today is a breakfast bar, and I have a good day. And we're going to say with lunch. Oh, wait. Oh, birthdays today are Colin Christopher, Zachary William, and Alejandro. And it's today from the admission. Great day, great day here at West Hills Middle School. I would like to name Marcus Quincy as student of the day. Marcus is such a hard worker and always does the best. He gives extra effort and is very creative in how he does his assignments. It has been a pleasure to have a great student like Marcus in my class. It's a pleasure to see him every day. Way to go, Marcus, and that's from Miss Peters. Congratulations and have a great day. Marcus, okay. And have a good day, West Hills. This time and it is a great day to be Wildcat.